In this video, we're going over sliding window maximum. You are given an array of integers, nums. There is a sliding window of size k, which is moving from the very left of the array to the very right. You can only see the k numbers in the window. Each time the sliding window moves by one position, return the max sliding window. So in our first example, we're given this array, and our sliding window is size k, um, size 3 in this case. And we can see that in the first subarray of size 3, we get the largest value is 3, so we populate 3. Next sliding window, largest value 3, we populate 3. In the next sliding window, we get the largest value 5, so we populate 5. Next one, 5, we also populate 5. And then next subarray, we get 6, so we populate 6. And the last subarray, we get 7, so we populate 7. Let's go over the dot process. So let's break this question down into parts. So the first thing we need is a way to quickly retrieve the largest elements inside a group of k elements. So in this case, we can create a max heap to keep track of the elements. This will allow us to retrieve the largest elements in all of one time. Now, the second thing is, how can we check if the current largest element is valid or not? This is because we only want the largest elements inside our current valid subarray, right? So, so instead of storing the numbers inside our heap or max heap, we can store the indices of the numbers instead. Then when we iterate through the input array, we can quickly check if the index of the largest number is valid or not, or is out of bound or not. Okay, now let's bring everything together. So we will be storing indices inside our maximum heap. Then we can create a custom comparator to sort the elements using the input array. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create a maximum heap. Max heap to sort the elements. So the heap will contain the indices of the elements. The elements will be sorted using the input array. Then we're going to create an array results to keep track of all the resulting or the maximums in each of the subarrays or in each of the windows in this case with a size of nums.length minus k plus 1. Now, why nums.length minus k plus 1? In our first example, we're given an array of size 8, and our output array has size 6. So we get 8 minus 3, we get 5, and then plus 1, we get 6. So exactly the size of the output array. But we're going to create a variable j to keep track of the current index. We are populating inside results. Now we can iterate through the indices of nums, they're known as i. Now while max heap is not empty and i minus max heap dot peak or max heap dot peak is less than i minus k plus 1. Now, if the current index or the index of the current largest number is less than i minus k plus 1, this means the index is out of bound. It's not a, val it's not a valid index because we only want an index that's within our current boundary or of k elements. So we can 
pull an element or pull an index from max heap. Now I want to add the current index to max heap. Now if i is greater than or equal to k minus one, this means we have a valid window of at least k elements because i starts from index zero. Don't forget i is zero based. So I'm going to set results j to max heap dot peak. Oh, do not forget max heap dot peak is the index. So we want nums max heap dot peak. Then we can increment j. Then we can return the results. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. For the time complexity, we get O of n log k, where n is the length of the input array, and k is the input value. So we visit each index and add elements to the heap, and the heap has size k, so we get log of k. Now our space complexity, we get O of, actually it's M minus K plus O of K. So we at least it's go to O of N, where N is the length of the input array and K is the input value. This is the resulting array and the O of K is the heat. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create a maximum heap priority queue with a custom comparator. Keeping track of the indices. So I1 and I2, and they want to sort the elements by the largest values. So the, so the larger values comes first using the input array. Then we want to create our array results to keep track of the maximums in all of the sliding windows with nums.life minus k plus one. And then we have our current index that we're populating inside results. Then we're going to iterate to the indices of the input array. We want to check if the current index or the large or the index of the current largest number is valid or not. If it's not valid, we want to remove it. So while max heap is not empty, and max heap dot peak is less than i minus k plus one, this means it's out of range. So we can do max heap dot pull. We can remove it. Now we're going to add the current index. Now, if in this case, if I is greater than or equal to K minus one, this means we have a valid sliding window. We can populate the current largest elements into our results. Nums max heap dot peak. Do not forget max heap holds the indices. That's why we need to do nums max heap dot peak. Then we'll post increments rj, then we can return the results. Let me know if any questions in the comments section below.